Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Under the series of uh, uh, various videos in respect of basic stability calculations, today I'm going to discuss, I'm going to talk about the relationship between the mass and underwater volume. That is the displacement of the vessel and underwater volume and the density. Now what is this relationship? So if there is a block of wood, it will float in the water. Uh, a block of granite or a steel block, it sinks. You know, all of us, we know Archimedes, Archimedes principle. Uh, what happens when a wooden block uh, is lowered in a water? Suppose there is a swimming pool of fresh water. Suppose there is a wooden block, you know, whose density is 0.7 ton per meter cube. or a 700 kg per meter cube. So such a block, you know, when it is placed in fresh water, the 70% of the block will float under water and 30% of the block will be above water. This is because the density is less than fresh water density. Fresh water density is 1000 kg per meter cube. But we also know that whatever is the underwater volume shown by the block is the volume of water that is displaced while it is floating. So when the wooden block is placed in the water, the water that is displaced is 70% of the block volume. That means 70% of 1 meter cube. That is 0.7 meter cube. Right? 0.7 meter cube is the volume of underwater part and this 0.7 multiplied by density of water that is 0.7 into 1 that is the density of water this gives 0 0.7 tons right that is the mass of the block 0.7 ton means 700 kg so uh, what we understand here is if there is any floating object, because of the underwater volume, there is some liquid that is displaced, right? That liquid which is displaced while that object floats in the water or any liquid, the underwater volume multiplied by density of the water in which the object is floating gives the mass of the object. Now let us assume that there is a granite block. Once again the dimensions are 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. Now the mass of this block will depend on the density. Like volume of the block is 1 meter cube and the density is 3 tons per meter cube which means the mass of that granite block 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter will be either 3 tons or 3000 kg. Now which means that suppose there is an Archimedes spring or balance when we weigh that block in the air it will weigh 3 tons but what happens if we put it in a freshwater swimming pool in such a way that the granite block completely immerses in the freshwater and there is this Archimedes spring balance right we will find that the weight which was three tons in air has reduced to two tons where is that one ton gone so what happens in this particular case the actual mass of the block whereas it is three tons in the air what happens is there is this underwater volume of this block once again there is displacement of the liquid and displacement of the liquid is equal to 1 meter cube because the volume of the block is 1 meter cube and the buoyancy that is provided by the displaced water is 1 ton because it is the water water volume multiplied by the density of liquid which means that there is an upward force or up thrust which is caused because of the water on the block equal to 1 ton or 1000 kg which means that the spring will show one ton less and now the weight that would be shown by the spring is not three ton as in air it would be two tons i hope you understand what is the effect of 
the buoyancy what is the effect of underwater volume what is the effect of underwater volume increasing or decreasing so so now let us understand one thing that any object that floats or sinks in the water the apparent mass of the object is reduced by a certain amount and what is that amount that amount is the buoyancy force which is caused by the water or liquid and that buoyancy force is underwater volume multiplied by density of the liquid now let us understand what happens in case of a ship shape vessel this vessel floats in water of density say 1.025 tons per meter cube and the underwater volume is suppose 10,000 meter cube then the mass of the ship or displacement is equal to underwater volume into density of the liquid which means that 10,000 into 1.025 10,250 tons so this is the displacement of the vessel Having understood the displacement, now let us understand a few terms as we grow in stability. Let us understand these few basic terms. Uh, there is something called center of flotation. Center of flotation is a point which is considered as a centroid of water plane area. It is also considered as a point where you can measure the hydrostatic draft of the vessel. Let us first understand what is TPC. Let us say we place a weight on deck right? in such a way that the draft of the vessel increases by one centimeter. We have understood the relationship between the mass and underwater volume. Right? Mass is equal to underwater volume multiplied by density. So if I put an extra mass on top underwater volume increases so increase in underwater volume whatever is increase in underwater volume multiplied by the density of liquid in which the ship is floating should be equal to the mass and suppose let us say the increase in the draft of the vessel is one centimeter and one centimeter is equal to one upon 100 meters and the water plane area of the vessel is suppose water plane area is suppose known in meter square can I say the extra volume that is caused because of putting this mass on the deck you know extra volume that is caused is the sinkage that is 1 upon 100 into water plane area that is the extra volume that is caused and this extra volume that is caused multiplied by the density of liquid in which the ship is floating should be equal to the mass so uh, we say that this is the mass that increases the uh, draft of the vessel uniformly all over by one centimeter that is one upon hundred meters so we have the relationship that this mass which should be called TPC TPC is tons per centimeter now that tons per centimeter should be equal to one upon hundred into water plane area into density so can we say that if we want to find out the TPC of the vessel it is water plane area divide by 100 into density right so for on board ship those people who are uh, sailing on board ship they should also know the reverse relationship that is water plane area is equal to 100 tpc upon density in which the vessel is floating or for which the tpc is given so normally TPC for the ship is given for salt water so we should always remember that water plane area of the ship is approximately 100 times the TPC. TPC is known from the general particulars or the stability tables so 100 times TPC is the water plane area and if you want 
accurate water frame area, you should say 100 ppc divided by 1.025. We will try to understand one more term today and that is the fresh water allowance. What is this fresh water allowance? Fresh water allowance could be understood as, you know, suppose there is an inspector uh, in a port, in a dock, he is looking at your ship being loaded and you want to load the vessel till summer load line. But since the dock is a freshwater dock, the inspector will allow the ship to sink more. This is like allowance given because the ship is in fresh water. How much would you allow the vessel to sink extra because she is not in salt water, she is in fresh water, is called fresh water allowance. Which means that when the vessel goes from this fresh water dock to open sea, that is the sea water, she will come up to the summer road line because in the dock you had allowed fresh water allowance. So let us understand what is fresh water allowance. Now to understand fresh water allowance, let us understand this example. Let's say there is a ship that is loading in fresh water and because she is loading in fresh water, she is allowed extra submersion and her summer load line has gone down. Now the, the drawing is uh, you know uh, out of proportion so uh, please bear with me. Now when this ship goes to salt water she rises and now her deck is at this level and now summer load line so what happens when the ship goes from fresh water to salt water you can see in fresh water there is this extra submersion and in salt water the underwater volume reduces that means the ship rises but let us say let's say that underwater volume in salt water is equal to V so in fresh water underwater volume is equal to V plus fresh water allowance in millimeter divided by 1000 so it becomes meter multiplied by water plane area which is in meter square so can I say that if this is the underwater volume in salt water this extra thing is nothing but fresh water allowance in meters that is fresh water allowance in millimeter upon 1000 multiplied by water plane area. So does it make sense? The extra underwater volume in fresh water is fresh water allowance in meter multiplied by water plane area in meter square. So uh, although the volumes are different in salt water and fresh water, the mass is same. In salt water, that is mass in salt water is equal to mass in fresh water. We know when the vessel goes from one density to other density, the mass does not change. What changes is the underwater volume. So uh, if we say underwater volume in salt water is V, then mass is 1.025 V. And in fresh water, if this is the underwater volume, density is 1, right? So we can say that the mass in fresh water is equal to V plus fresh water allowance in millimeter divided by 1000 into water plane area in meter square. So uh, this V comes on this side, left hand side will become 0 0.025 V and that's equal to uh, fresh water allowance once again in millimeter divided by 1000 into water plane area. So what is fresh water allowance? Fresh water allowance is equal to 1000 comes on this side multiplied by 0 0.025 becomes 25V. 1000 comes on this side this figure becomes 25V. Right? 
and when water plane area comes on this side it becomes upon water plane area now fresh water allowance in millimeters fresh water allowance in millimeters is equal to 25 V upon water plane area but uh, a few minutes back I told you what is water plane area equal to a few minutes back I told you water plane area is equal to 100 TPC upon 1.025 can we substitute water plane is area is equal to 100 TPC upon 1.025 so right hand side becomes 25 V upon 100 TPC and over here you will get 1.025 but this portion V into 1.025 is nothing but the displacement of the vessel right so can we say that uh, uh, right hand side becomes displacement 25 goes down upon 4 TPC so uh, can we remember now this formula forever Fresh water allowance in millimeters is equal to displacement upon 4 TPC. And if you want to remember fresh water allowance in centimeters, you would say displacement upon 40 TPC. In my next video, we will do some numericals uh, based on fresh water allowance, dock water allowance. When the ship goes from one density to other density, what is the change of main draft?